climate change is altering our planet and how we live. Extreme weather patterns like floods, droughts and fierce cyclones sweep across Asia and the Pacific with increased regularity. In general, governments set aside public budgets so countries can adapt to or mitigate against the effects of climate change. These expenditures are sometimes called climate change finance. Spending on adaptation can mean building resilient schools or investing in drought-resistant seeds for farmers to plant. Spending on mitigation can mean investing in renewable energy and reducing fossil fuel emissions or expanding forests to remove greater amounts of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. To use domestic and international funds for climate change more efficiently, governments can take a whole-of-government approach. This is when a range of ministries, such as planning, environment, finance and local government, work closely to plan how and where money is spent for public investments that are relevant to climate change. What does this mean in practice? Let's say the Ministry of Education in Bangladesh uses its budget to build a school. If it coordinates more closely with the Ministry of Environment and local government, the school can now teach children, including about climate change, survive the next natural disaster, and be used as a community's shelter, as well as storage for the emergency supplies. Budgets are coordinated, money is saved and used more effectively. This is starting to happen, but a whole-of-government approach is still not easy. Even stronger collaboration between ministries will be needed to strengthen budget management as it relates to climate change, with stronger planning, smarter spending, better monitoring, greater efficiency and transparency. It is important, you know, for the national budget to take into consideration of the climate change. Yeah, then uh, uh, this is very important in making, uh, you know, uh, investment uh, decision. Finance people need to understand the sector issue, especially uh, the impact or the implication of climate change. Better cooperation between national and sub-national governments should also be promoted to ensure that climate change and development policies are aligned with implementation on the ground. Let's look at the already significant amount of annual domestic funds that are spent on climate change, ranging from 2.7% to 17% of the total national annual budget. International funds are also available to countries to help them with climate change initiatives. If countries shift to a whole-of-government approach for climate change spending, then international funding has better potential to fill identified financing gaps. Coordination, collaboration and transparency can eliminate fragmentation of funding and help to ensure greater impact in line with national climate change priorities. Thailand is but one example of how effective spending has helped the country recover from flooding and plan for future disasters. เนื่องจากพื้นที่เราเป็นพื้นที่ที่มีความเสี่ยงต่อน้ําท่วมสูงครับเราเนี่ยก็จะใช้งบประมาณของอบตเองงบประมาณกับชาวบ้านแล้ว